Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials in Hand. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to write a C program to find the maximum of three numbers. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So first of all, let's include the necessary required header files. So the very basic header file in C program is simply stdo.h. So let's include that and the way how we will include is simply we'll write include and then the header file name dot h. Now let's start our main method in order to write the program. So uh, first of all, before directly moving on to the programming part, let me write the stepwise approaches that we need to follow in order to write this program. So what's the approach that will be required in order to find what is the maximum number out of the three? So step one would be what? To take input from the user, right? So step one would be nothing but to take input of three numbers basically, right? And let's see if we got the input, then what's the next step that we have to perform? So the next step would be to decide which is the maximum number, right? To find maximum of three and what, uh, sorry, yeah, of three numbers and what's the final step? So the final step is to print the things, right? Now let's start with the step one. So in C language, we know that we can take input with help of scanf. So first of all, let's declare three variables onto which we will store all the numbers. So let those variables be a, b and c. Okay, now we have declared this. Now let's print something. What we need to print? So let's print so that the user gets an indication that they need to enter something. And over here, let's write print f and let's give a relevant comment. So what we want from the users. So let's write enter three numbers. So after, okay, yeah, there's a typo, yeah. Okay, so after seeing this line, the user will enter three numbers. Let's say the user entered 10, 20 and 30. Now what we want? So we basically want to store those numbers in these variables that we have declared. So let's see how we can do that. So that we can perform with help of scanf. And inside these double quotes, we will provide what? We'll provide simply modulus d, modulus d and modulus d, then comma n percent of a and again for b and again for c. So this particular line means that, so if I start from right from line number 12, then we have basically initialized or we have basically declared three variables a, b and c. Okay. Now in line 13, we are telling the user to enter three numbers. So let's say the user has entered the numbers. Now in line 14 with help of scanf, what we are doing, we are telling that the first number that the user has entered, store it in the variable a. The second number or oh, that is particularly of integer type so store that in variable b and the third number that the user has entered store it in the variable c by the time when our program will move at line number 15 we would have got these three numbers now let's move to step two which is to find the maximum of three numbers so what's the normal mathematical way by which we will decide which is the maximum number of the three so the logic is let's say if i give you 10 2 and 5 and if i ask you which is the greatest number then you will tell 10 why because firstly you will compare 10 with this part you will say that uh, is this 10 greatest then you will tell that yeah in the first part it's greater then you will check for first and the third one if 10 is greater than with third one also then we will say that 10 is greatest so what is the approach that we are following so let's say if i give you a b and c and if I ask you which is the greatest, then what you will say? So you will simply say that if A is greater than B and E is also greater than C, then A is greatest, right? So let's apply this part. Uh, yeah, so let's apply this in programming terms. So the way that we will do is, so we'll write if A is greater than B, okay? And in C language, let me give bracket for a better understanding. Yeah. And in C language, this end can be used or this end can be performed with help of double ampersand symbol. So this line basically means that if A is greater than B and again, we will provide with the next transition, which is A is greater than C. Then we will say that if A is greater than C, then is it so that A is greater than B as well as it's greater than C? If that's correct, then we'll simply print that a is greatest right now if let's say our program didn't went to line number 19 that means a is not the greatest right 
Now the talk of E being the candidate of greatest is removed. Then it simply means that either B or C is the greatest out of the three, right? Now when can we call that B is the greatest? So we can call it only when if B is greater than C. That means B is the greatest out of the three. So we'll simply print that B is the greatest. Okay. And the same if that's also not true. So if this part is again false, that means our execution will not move to line 23. Instead, it will move to line 25. And if the program moves to line 25, that means B is also not greater than C. That means what? It simply means that C is the greatest. Okay. Now let's hit enter and see entire things working. Now see it's asking me to enter three numbers. Okay. Let those numbers be 10, 6 and 4. So what is the greatest one? So A should be the greatest. And here you can see that it's telling that A is greatest. Now in this condition, again, let's uh, give another test case onto which let's make uh, B as the greatest. Okay. Let's give 5, 5, 5. Let's give 2 and C B is the greatest. Let's write for C being the greatest and here you can see that C is the greatest. So this is how we can write a C program to find the maximum of three numbers. In this program particularly or in this video if I talk about then we not only show how to find the greatest of the three number but also we saw in depth like what are the ways that we can use if else conditions and how to take input properly and how the program execution happens. So this is all about the video. I hope you understood the things. Thank you.